Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? It's me, your guy, T-Belly here, King of Retro. Got a brand new unboxing. I have another unboxing that I have not released yet. I might have two of them that I have not released yet. But what better way to get these out? This is just for the channel, just for the love out there. So, um... Don't mean to stun my little $800 watch. I know a lot of y'all can't get on my level, but you can get on my level if you just step your game up. But um, this video, I just want to let you know the real ones. You got to get a job, get a car, and get a girlfriend. Because if you're not, you ain't about this life. So let's do this one quick. Forget an introduction video. I'll probably put that in the beginning. We have an unboxing here from Level 1 Online. Uh, Level 1 Online has been very helpful with me on my journey towards Twitch. I do stream on Twitch now. Uh, it's a great platform, very good platform to stream on. It's all about the streams. There's no, you don't get penalized for not uploading videos, you know? So, yeah, I might not have my 30 plus viewers in my live streams that, that I had on YouTube. But I'll tell you right now, it's a better environment. It's, it's, uh, it's more fun. And there's a lot more to do on Twitch. You know, and like I said, you don't get penalized for streaming. You just don't, you know? So uh, definitely want to check me out, T-Belly Unrated on Twitch, if you want to see the real good stuff. So let's get this uh, box opened up. So we have a few things here. Now, this is not the first time Level 1 Online has sent me something, but he uh, he did send me my copy of Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy Kong's, Diddy's Conquest, and I loved it. Love that game, and... I will forever remember that awesomeness. So let's get into it right now. We have a few good things coming up here. So let's see here. Um, hmm. Let me just check. I think this is just bubble. This is just bubble. Yeah. This is just bubble coverage. All right. Let's check that out. So let's uh, we'll, we'll move, we'll move a few things here uh, that I have here. This is like bubble wrapping. So we got a lot of cool games here. A lot of cool games. So. And this is crazy because I always wanted this one and now I have it. The Witcher 3 for the PlayStation 4. This is the complete edition. And this is all on one disc. So I'm really happy about it. Really, really happy about it. Yeah, this is all on one disc. This is, they don't make these much anymore. So I'm really happy about this one. I actually have this digital, but this game might be a game. I should play this game this year. Uh, this might be a game that I really might like. Because it's a little bit of God of War mixed with The Legend of Zelda, which my, are my two favorite franchises. And this is Darksiders. This is the War Mastered Edition. I do have this digital. I do have the complete series digital. I just never played it. So we definitely need to pop this one in. It is created from Vigil Entertainment. I believe they made um, the Dante's Inferno game. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they didn't. Uh, we have some. We have some. Ooh. What's this? What is this? There's some music CDs in here. There's definitely some music CDs in here, bro. Nice. There's some music in, in CDs in here. Very nice, dude. Thank you. Thank you so much for the music CDs. I don't want to share this because I don't know if it's uh, if this is something private. But it's and there's a lot of hip hop in here, so I definitely ooh some cool ones. Nice little mix too. A little a little bit of different mix uh, from Usher. Master P to Trillville, Missy Elliott, Jay Z, Ti, G Unit, a little mixture of uh, all kinds of, of uh, musicians. Uh, I'm a hip hop head, so thank you so much, Level One, for some for some tunes here. Definitely. Now we got some Sega Genesis games. Ooh, this is crazy. We have Eternal Champions, which I've never played this, and it, it's it's in the box, man. This is fucking awesome. Thank you so much, Level One. Highly appreciate this, dude. I definitely want to ch check this one out. It is a six-button arcade, so I definitely got to check this one out. I've really been on my fighting game wave. Like I said, guys, after beating Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection, there's just nothing in retro that's, like, exciting anymore. And this is where I'm having my fun is on the competitive scene. And, wow, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters for the Sega Genesis. This is the Mega Drive version, which has this awesome artwork. This is really nice, dude. This is really, really nice. Really, really nice. I thank you so much. This was really the main reason. Because I, I got the Platinum Trophy in the Kawabunga collection. And this game right here, I was really into it. 
Um, I know the Super Nintendo version is supposed to be the better version, but I was really into that one. That one is just more playable to me. Now we have a game here called Switchblade. Not to be confused with Switchblade of the Bullet Club. And I never played this. This is a Mega Drive exclusive. And I'm definitely looking into this one for sure. Definitely looking into playing this game right here. Uh, shout out to Level 1 Online. Thank you so much for this one. Never heard of Switchblade. So definitely want to check this out. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you so much. And we got more. There's more. Uh, this is the main reason for this box was I recently acquired a Xbox 360. So right here we have a, a Xbox original game called Breakdown. It's a Namco game. And this looks like something that I might like. This looks like some arcade style stuff. So definitely, definitely want to check this one out. I do have an HDMI modded original Xbox sitting on my TV that I have access to. But uh, so if I, if I just wanted to play that on the original Xbox, I could. So here's a game called Brink. It's a Bethesda game. I need to get into more Bethesda games because I've never played a Bethesda game. I've tried out, uh, what's the game I tried out? I tried out Skyrim on the Switch. Wasn't really into it because I felt like it needed more graphics, a better performing system. And what better way to go back to that world than to go to Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion on the Xbox 360. So I'm really excited about this one. So I can play this, and if I like this, I can go on and try out Skyrim. I've never played a Bethesda game, to be honest with you guys. Actually, I think I did. It was that Wolfenstein, if that's a Bethesda game. We have something here called Spec Ops The Line. I've heard good things about this one. I never really played it, but I did hear good things about it. So definitely would just check, I would love to check this one out, at least for this, the campaign. It does have an online multiplayer for two to eight players, so it looks like it might be more team-based. I will look into that one, and then these two games, I've never played these games, but this company always had good graphics. And um, definitely, what better way, what better time to try them out than having them? Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. I definitely, I'm a Call of Duty guy, but I know these are a little different. And I might like this a little bit more, so I'm going to look into this. I know they got the Frostbite engine, which I love. And I love DICE. They made the Star Wars multiplayer games, the Battlefront games. And last but not least, this is really cool right here. So I have an extra option here to help me play my retro style games on a PC because I am really getting into PC games. Hey, sorry about that, guys. I'm not sure what happened on the video there, but I'm really getting into PC gaming. And this right here, dudes, this right here is a nice controller I can put on the PC. I wonder why this uh, video cut off. That was weird. I wonder if I pressed the... Uh, Maybe I'd probably hit something on the watch. But uh, yeah, we got this new controller here. Thank you so much. This is from Hyperkin. And it looks really good. It looks like a Super Nintendo controller just with an analog. And then, dude, this is really dope, actually. Let's uh, let's check this one out. Let's see how this one feels. Let's put this down a bit. Let's check this one out. Because, yeah, the controller I do... Oh, it actually has the... the uh, it does have the triggers and the buttons. This is a really cool controller. This is like a retro style modern controller. I like this, dudes. I definitely like this. I would I would definitely test this out on my Xbox 360 when I play the Xbox Arcade game. So yeah, thank you so much. I like this, dude. I definitely like this one right here. Um, this one has some good purpose, actually. Wow. Yeah, definitely want to check this one out. Nice controller here. Really different, but really comfortable. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of games I can use with this. So, yo, thank you all for watching the video. Just wanted to drop a little love. Thank you so much for Level 1 Online. I highly appreciate it. I know the company messed up the shirt, but it's still the dopest shirt, the most wearable shirt I've ever seen come out the gaming community, out of everybody. I mean, it's legit something you can wear out in public, and it's not nerdy. It's not like, oh, look at me. I love Super Mario. You know, like it's not, even though I love Super Mario, but still, you know, it's still a really cool get a job. Get a car, get a girlfriend. Badass shirt, man. Badass fucking shirt. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just want to do a quick one. 4K quality. You know how we do. We, we don't do that shit phone quality. We might be on the phone, but we give y'all the good shit, man. But yo, hope y'all enjoyed the video. That's it for today. Can I wrap up my video? <laughs> it's me, your guy, T-Belly. And I'm signing off, guys. Cheers. Cheers.